Hey, what's going on? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Perception Neuron 3 system. Now I have it all laid out, and what I just really wanna do is just put the sensors on the straps and then put them on my body and then we'll register for the software and check out the new Axis Studio software, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. I have the sensors right here charged up and ready to go right here. All I'm doing is taking the labels right here, like right foot, and I'm just gonna put it in the correct strap, okay? So here is forearm, foot right here. Now it doesn't have to be, it's not gonna say right foot on the straps, it's gonna say it on the actual sensor itself so you know which one it is, just like that. And now it's installed. So the next step is going to be firing up the Perception Neuron, sorry, the Axis Studio. Now this is the transceiver and this is the dongle for the software. So for me to use the Axis Studio, I'm gonna need this for the license and this to communicate to the sensors. So you're gonna need both of this. And you do get a spare sensor right here. There's a total of 18 sensors, 17 on me, one spare. So I have the glove right here. Let's see how well it fits. I think they got the sizing right. I didn't, it's got a picked one for me. Okay. So from my understanding, the thumb can move, the index can move, and the middle one will control the last two. And that's how it works. So you actually don't have sensors in every single finger. You just have it on three right here. And that's pretty much it. I got everything. Hopefully the back looks good. But actually, I can see it on my phone. Hmm, technology. All right. Now usually I would put the hip inside my shirt and tuck it in, right? but I wanted to show you all what this looks like on my actual body here, all right? Now, as far as the head sensor, it doesn't matter if it's the front and the back. I'm just used to having that sensor, a head sensor on the back, so it's not on my way. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm pretty excited. Let's see if this works well. And you know, might do some acrobatics, you know, like eat a cheeseburger or a french fry or something like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in the Neuron mocap. Let's go to support downloads. I actually haven't done this because I wanted to do this kind of live and record it. It's gonna be this right here. So click on this software and requires Access Studio dongle, which we have. And I'm going to download this here and click on this right here. So I actually have to activate it. All right, so let's install it real quick. Oh, I'm gonna run it anyway. If my computer breaks, I blame Daniel. I'm gonna launch it. Okay, so it's in there. I'm gonna retry it. It's called the code meter stick. It's a good name. The device is ready. Okay. I guess it's gonna pop back up. Right now, what I'm liking is I know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I still have the gloves and I'm controlling the mouse and keyboard uh, with my perception v uh, V32. That was kind of hard to do because they're the wires and stuff. So just a little. Gee whiz, we're gonna go activate it for the Access Studio input code. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. They actually gave me that. Uh, this is it. Yep, I'm gonna activate this. So you should, if you purchase this, I'm sure they'll email you the activation code for this software because that's where I got it from. So let me go ahead and plug in the transceiver. All right, so transceiver is in. And this one is titled hub pn okay 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 all right let's do a new project let's name this name name apply default body dimension yeah just for now let's just take a look i'm gonna try to save you some time i made a mistake of putting all the sensors first on my body and then try to use the software so uh, go ahead and calibrate the sensors first by following this step by step so install the software like i showed you all and register your dongle and plug it in your computer and all that stuff and then calibrate the sensors because you're actually gonna have to put them back in the charging station so follow this along click on next it's going to tell you to put it on a non-magnetic material table and then place the charging dock on top of the bag that it comes with between the stool 
and the bag so on top is the charging dock the bag and then your stool so i'm gonna press next and this is gonna count the sensors and it's gonna do some initial uh pretty much calibration and just trying to see how the quality is and then after that we'll go move forward okay so once that's done i'm gonna go ahead and click next and uh place the shoulder sensors the back hip so this is just telling me place the upper leg sensor on the exterior side of your thigh not in front of your thigh okay so that's good place the hip sensor on the back of your pelvis not the back of your waist okay so pelvis okay so it's a little bit higher on the on the back side of your body i got that okay so let's take a look i'm gonna go ahead and do all this stuff right now put all the sensors back okay and i got all the sensors now and let's finish okay well let's do a uh, calibration All right, let me switch over to my um, my microphone, my other microphone, so I can walk around. All right, so I'm gonna move my stuff around here. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna make some room. I do have a little bit more space here. So let me click, and I even have shadows. How cool is that? All right. Fingers. Okay, so here we go. Thumb, index, and there goes your, right now I'm putting the middle finger up, but it's raising all three of them. But, I don't know. So, I mean, you can still, you can still do some hand gestures. And um, one of the things that I was kind of excited about this here they got magnetic sensors on, device detail. Here we go. So my right leg, there. Oh, okay, so I was close to the computer, so let me back up. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take my mouse. There you go. So the closer I get to my computer, obviously, the, it's gonna be bad, but I'm maybe like five feet away from my computer right now. And I see that spine is red. The signal. And I like this because before, you know, I have a, a magnometer. Mag. The freaking thing that measures magnet. I don't know. Ma magnetometer. It's not even a word. Okay, so. Some jumping jacks. Do some push ups. Okay, that's all I can do too. Okay, do some hip movements, just checking the sensor, everything's good. Okay, so first impression, coming from a PN32, this data that I'm reading right now compared to my old suit, while well, I still have it, is much better. I mean, this, this looks pretty good. Let's look at some head mo movement, like no, no, no. You know, maybe a couple of jabs, maybe a left jab, right jab, you know, some uppercut, maybe some gold dust. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that gold dust looks pretty good. Hmm, let's do a couple of walk cycles here. Now my dimensions are not set up. I just pick like 160 centimeters, centimeters, whatever you want to call it, the smallest male on this thing. So here's the walk. Just gonna make sure my feet's still good. 
and the hip. It said I have to be, has to be on the outside of the hip. Okay, spine. Okay, so this is good right here. I'm fixing my shorts right now, guys. I'm not doing anything PG, not in PG-13. I'm just fixing my shorts. Now I'm closer to the internet, so you're gonna see some, or the internet, I'm closer to the computer right now. So, contact points, hands, hip, normal mode. Okay, so they have a lot more settings here. Just looking at this, and this magnetic sensor's on. I can turn that off. I can recalibrate, quick connect. I can put them to sleep and I can turn, turn them all off. And the battery life is right here. Now, as far as I know, you can have up to three bodies here. Okay, so here's the body dimensions. I already have these measurements. So I'm just gonna have to plug it in from my previous axis neuron. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this because this looks good here, but I still want to export it as an FBX and then bring to Unreal Engine 5 so we can play around with it because they did release Unreal Engine 5 plugin for this, for this software here. So let's do a couple more movements because I know people have been wanting to see this uh, move movement thing and I do have a wireless transmitter in my left pocket right here where I'm grabbing it so just do keep that in mind um, so let's just do like a typical rap song real quick I'm gonna hit record and I'm gonna do a little rap and then dance so red button right here I guess is recording so we're recording right now all right so I'm gonna go with the microphone like okay I'm rapping I'm rapping now I work at a sandwich place, so I make a lot of wraps. You want some lettuce, some sausage. I don't know what rhymes with wraps. Okay, so that was a terrible rhyme. So this is pretty good. Now if you want a little bit more of the whole swaying movement thing, you know, a little bit of a Slim Shady right there, and he goes a little bit, sometimes he goes like this, and then he goes, he backs up, and then he goes, turns around again. And then he goes like this. He points the fingers up, down. It's kind of like moving around like this. And it backs up, backs up. So I'm just doing a bunch of motions here. Okay. I mean, if you guys want to see my freaking martial arts skills, I'll give it to you right now. Oh my gosh, did you see how high that kick was? I mean, oh. Oh, I just, did you hear that? I think my, my hip just popped. Okay, so more motions, more motions. So yeah, we're still recording here, by the way. Okay, so, you know, like, okay, I'm backing up. Backing up, do a little bit of dance. Okay, and then if we do like a stand-up comedy, it's more just like this. So yeah, you know, yesterday, I went to the store and uh, I asked the cashier if you, if you had any uh, cereal, right? And the cashier was like, yeah, we have a cereal because I mean, this is a store after all, right? And this, this is why you actually usually clap your hands. So, so yeah, this is, I'm holding a mic right now. Actually, I have a bottle right here. Let's check this out. Bottle right here. Can you hold a bottle? Okay, so I'm holding the bottle right now. There's a water bottle. Let's see if I can pretend like this is a microphone. So yeah, I went to the zoo. You know, uh, I was looking around for some animals in the zoo. You know, because that's what you do when you go to a freaking zoo, you look for some animals. So, saw this freaking lion, you know? And this lion is like, it's being a lion and my son's like, wow. It's a lion, and I'm like, yes, son, that's a lion. Oh my God, I'm terrible at this. Gosh, I, 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 yeah, I'm not really a stand-up guy, I'm sorry. Anyways, this is still recording, two minutes straight. Let's take a look and see how this looks in Unreal Engine 5. Is that how you dab? Or is it like this? Is this dabbing right here? I see this all the time in music videos. Dab. 
Oh no, I think it's like this. I don't know, man. I'm 32 years old, I ain't got time for that. <sighs> Get some flex going, some neck rotations. Oh, make it rain. I'm pretty close to my computer right now, about two feet. I'm making it rain. So that's good. I mean, this is the spirit fingers right here. You know? So I guess you can still do that. Ah. Yeah. If you're a mime, I guess. Let's test out the mime controls. Okay. 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 You know where this is going? If you were, if you know, if you lived in the 90s. I don't know what the heck that is. Okay, this is enough. I gotta go to dinner. All right, see you guys later. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5, but you don't know how. Today is your lucky day. How to make a movie in Unreal Engine 5 by JS Films. Out now.